Hello Aries, it's the Seed and Tarot. So today we're going to go ahead and do your reading for the day. Aries, if this does resonate, remember to like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box. And also, you guys, go over to the Instagram page and follow your girl as soon as we hit that 5k mark on the Instagram. I'm definitely starting these free personal readings on the gram, which I'm so excited about. Is it this way? I don't know. It's like this. Excited? I don't know hand movements but i'm excited about this so i hope you are too everything will be in the bio all right so let's get started for aries what's going on for aries daily what's going on for aries daily thank you angels thank you angels thank you thank you thank you yes Amazing today. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling the energy like I am. I'm entwined. <laughs> All right, Aries. All right. All right, so Aries, I'm feeling like an energy is coming towards you. This could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. There is someone that wants to give you an offer, but I feel like, you know, you drank from a lot of these cups and these cups didn't fulfill you. And this is something that you're walking away from. I feel like you're sampling. I feel like you're trying to find something better out there for you, whether it's a new relationship or giving this one a break. I'm also feeling like you are ready. You're ready for whatever, you know, the angels have for you. You're ready to commit. You're ready for a real stable relationship here. And this person sees this and know this about you. And this is what I'm feeling, you guys. I'm just playing with my ring. Don't mind me. All right. So I'm seeing communication here about this that's coming towards you very, very soon. Um, this person wants to make sure that you understand how they truly feel, but I am, I feel like, you know, they're coming, like, you're going to be guarded with the truth or with, at whatever this person is telling you, that's because a lot of trust issues are coming up, okay, I'm feeling a lot of juggling as well, so there is a situation where someone made a choice here, so we're going to see what's that all about, so let's tell me more angels for ears. So this could also be a, a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra energy. That's what I'm being told. Right? We also have Capricorn, Virgo, or um, Taurus energy for sure. So I'm feeling like, you know, they're juggling because everything fell apart here. Somebody lost, um, lost an opportunity. Like something just did not work out here. But this offer that's coming to you is a stable one that this person is giving you. But it's like you're not interested in it. And I'm also feeling like this person, when it comes to a legacy, is not on the same page as you. Or not on the same vibe when it comes to money. Like somebody has more money than someone here. And I'm also seeing like there's the messages are slow in the soul process. And this is because you're looking at this person as... Someone that is not what you wanted. Like they kind of they kind of played tricks on you and you thought this was your soulmate or you thought this was your twin flame. But it wasn't. And I feel like this person came into your life and brought a lot of stress into your life. I'm also I feel like there's a lot of healing that needs to be done here. A lot of blood was shed here. Somebody's saying my heart is broken. Like, I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't think straight. Like, this is what this person is saying. Okay. So, there really, there is this energy of this, like, separation. Possibly, com like, confirmation of a divorce, Okay. So this person is rushing in. This is what you don't see. Like this is a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy that is just rushing in, not an emotional person. So this person, when they do have some kind of, when they do want to find out something or try to get you back in some kind of way, they're not doing it because of their emotions. They're doing it because of how they feel 
at the moment. It's like they live into the moment. And I'm seeing like a lot of this Ace of uh, Pentacles and the High Front. Then we have the Seven and then the Queen of Cups. So we have like a real strong pull here with Twin Flame and Soulmate. Okay, for some of you with this. I'm sorry, not this one. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. One is ready, one is not. How typical, right? So I'm feeling like, you know, it's an end. Like somebody's putting an end to this relationship right here. Somebody's deciding that it's not going to work and put an end to it, making a decision to do that. I feel like this person is a lot of... A lot of people around them maybe you know dragging their feet to do this like making them make this decision i feel like this person is not doing it on their own they're like codependent um situations here and i'm feeling like the investment it's like they are like moving forward with this you know moving forward with this decision making plans or making it seem like this is what they want and then you have the king of swords the king of um wands and then behind here, you have the King of Swords. And what you don't see coming is the Apology and the Star. I'm telling you, I feel like this person was just... like Someone is dragging them to do this. Someone is making them file for divorce. Making them decide that this is not what, you know, they want. And it's the truth is they want to work their, you know, relationship out. They want to invest in this, but they're having, like, this feeling of holding back. Like they need to hold back their feelings. They're not being truthful. Because this person is coming back to, you know, to work things out. You know, I do feel like this person, at times, were very cold to you. All right? And this is something that you have to deal with. Some kind of immaturity. Because this person is the king of swords in reverse. Like somebody is stuck in the present moment. So... I feel like it's a lot of maturity that needs to be addressed here, okay? But their apology, though, is coming towards you very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Like this person is rushing in to say this, to do this, to offer you this. It's like they feel like you and them are meant to be for some reason in this life. So let's see what the angels have for you with the invites cards okay what's going on for aries aries please again you have a lot of potential people here scorpio cancer um pisces energy gemini aquarius or libra energy we also have capricorn taurus and virgo energy We have take action. We have ask your angels, success, and then we have no need to worry. Okay, so for some of you, you're worrying about this situation, worrying about where it's gonna go, and the angels are like, "Listen, we already have this on track. We know what we're doing. Please let go, and let flow. All right. Listen to your intuition. Okay. Listen to your intuition because it's clearly speaking to you." Do you hear this? Do you see this? But you are choosing not to see it, right? So your intuition is already telling you what's up, what's popping. You need to trust it, take action, pray to the angels, build a relationship with them, whether that's your God or, you know, whatever, whoever you believe in. And, you know, this would be successful either way. If you decide to stay with this person or move on, you're going to have a lot of success in your life you are made for success and this is what i have for you i hope it resonates everybody if it does you know what to do like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel if it doesn't resonate you guys i'll have your playlist link below in the description box and also aries go over to the instagram page we support your girl on there as soon as i hit that 5k mark i'll definitely start those free personal readings for you all right love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys